Hi my dear students, myself Anu Shishudharan, Academic Director and Biology Faculty of Rankings Entrance Training Academy. Today I am going to discuss an important concept that is respiration. This video lesson only for the students of class 10. Do you know what is respiration? Respiration is the breakdown of food to release energy. Food means glucose. The food material taken in during nutrition is used in the cells to provide energy for various life processes. You are very familiar, the respiration process is essential for life because it provides energy for carrying out all the life processes which are necessary to keep the organisms alive. Where does this process takes place. We are very familiar. The process of cellular respiration occur in a specialized cell organelle called mitochondria. You have learned in lower classes, mitochondria is considered as the powerhouse of the cell. Why? Because this is the site in which the energy can be synthesized, energy can be storage and distributed in the form of ATP. Do you know what is ATP? This is adenosine triphosphate. We will discuss later. Respiration process, you are very familiar. This is an enzymatic process. That means the enzymes or catalysts are special proteins that control the process of respiration. Now we are going to discuss different types of respiration. As you know, there are two types of respiration. That is aerobic respiration and anaerobic respiration. You know, aerobic respiration can occur in the presence of oxygen and anaerobic respiration can occur in the absence of oxygen. What is aerobic respiration? The oxidation of glucose with the help of atmospheric oxygen is called aerobic respiration. Aerobic respiration can be occur in most of the organisms including humans. This is the chemical equation for aerobic respiration that is C6H12O6 plus 6O2 gives 6CO2 plus 6H2O plus energy that is 38 ATP. What is C6H12O6? This is glucose. This glucose it undergoes oxidation to form carbon dioxide, water and energy. What is anaerobic respiration? The partial oxidation of organic food means glucose in the absence of atmospheric oxygen is called anaerobic respiration. This type of anaerobic respiration can occur in lower grade of organisms especially in unicellular organisms like yeast and certain bacteria. In some cases Anaerobic respiration may be occur in higher level of organisms too. This is the equation for anaerobic respiration occur in case of yeast cell. C6H12O6 it undergoes partial oxidation to form alcohol, ethyl alcohol C2H5OH plus 6O2 plus 2 ATP. This type of anaerobic respiration can occur in yeast cell. You know, yeast, it's a unicellular fungus. 
In both cases, you can see aerobic as well as anaerobic respiration. We can see there is the oxidation of glucose or the breakdown of glucose. Now, we are going to discuss the different ways or the breakdown of glucose by various methods or various pathways. This is actually showing the process of aerobic as well as anaerobic respiration. First of all, the glucose undergoes oxidation or partial oxidation to form pyruvate or pyruvic acid. This is the common step for both aerobic as well as anaerobic respiration. This process can occur in the cytoplasm of a cell. This process we can collectively call the glycolysis. After glycolysis, the pyruvate should be break down to form carbon dioxide, water and energy in case of aerobic respiration. That means in the presence of oxygen. This process occurs in mitochondria and the entire phenomenon we can collectively call the Krebs cycle. Both glycolysis and Krebs cycle you will learn in higher classes. Look, in the absence of oxygen, the pyruvic acid should be converted into lactic acid and energy in higher level of organisms, including humans. You are very familiar, a type of anaerobic respiration occur in human muscle cells. That means, sometimes when there is a lack of oxygen in our muscle cells, the pyruvic acid should be converted into lactic acid and energy. Because of the presence of lactic acid or because of the accumulation of lactic acid, we can feel the muscle cramps. In the absence of oxygen, one more type of aerobic sorry, anaerobic respiration occur in the yeast cell. In yeast cell, the pyruvic acid undergoes breakdown to form ethanol, carbon dioxide and energy. These two types of anaerobic respiration together called fermentation. This is lactic acid fermentation and this is alcoholic fermentation. This is something about the breakdown of glucose by various pathways. This is very important you have to give much more importance. Now we are going to discuss ATP. Do you know what is ATP? ATP means adenosine triphosphate. This is considered as the energy currency for most of the cellular processes. The energy produced during respiration is stored in the form of ATP molecule. Do you know how the ATP molecules can be synthesized? The ADP molecule, what is ADP? Adenosine diphosphate combines with the inorganic phosphate this is inorganic phosphate by absorbing the energy released during respiration to form ATP molecule the process actually occur in the mitochondria we have discussed whenever the cells need energy what happens this ATP can be broken down to form ADP inorganic phosphate and it can release energy this energy can be utilized by the body for various life processes. Now, I am going to talk about the process of respiration in plants. You are very familiar, plants also need energy which is obtained by the process of respiration. You are very familiar, the plants use oxygen and release carbon dioxide during respiration. So the 
In plants, there is a gas exchange is needed. The gas exchange takes place through specialized opening called stomata. The central pore is called the stoma. Plants exchange gases with their surroundings through the stoma. The gas exchange takes place through the stoma or stomata by a process called diffusion. The process of diffusion we have already been discussed. That is, the movement of molecule from the region of higher concentration to the region of lower concentration. Here, the oxygen and carbon dioxide exchange as the major gas exchange in plants. There are some differences during the daytime and night time. At night time, you are very familiar, there is no photosynthesis. Plants can absorb oxygen for respiration and given out carbon dioxide. Here, during the night time, the most important thing, the major elimination, that is carbon dioxide. Carbon dioxide elimination is the major exchange activity going on during the night time. During the daytime, what happens? You are very familiar, the process of photosynthesis will be there. Carbon dioxide generated during respiration is used up for photosynthesis. Hence, there is no carbon dioxide release during the daytime. Oxygen release is the major event at that time. Okay? This is the process of respiration in plants.